What is going on, you guys? It's Aviation484 here, and I'm back to another awesome model review. Or, not really a model review. I wouldn't really call it that. Um, to, it's going to be a different video. Let's just say that. Um, this video is going to be talking about this model aircraft. I won't be... If you want to see the review, then go check out. It's going to be in the top right. I'm going to link both the, the NG review and the Gemini Jets old 2018 release uh, video. Uh, you guys can go check it out because I'm pretty much doing the same thing, so I don't want to do it the third time. Um, I'll just go over the details and the differences. So, if you guys probably saw in the title, uh, this model did come broken. Um, here's the little segment right here. Hey, so yeah, this is the segment, uh, little segment I'll be making. Um, this is not a rant or anything. I just want to kind of bring awareness to people that the A330s also can come like this. Now, personally, I have never seen the A330 uh, either by Gemini Jets. I could be I could be wrong, but I can't really recall it from the top of my head. Um, but I've never seen it come broken like this. So yeah, so I just I'm just kind of shocked by this because I was looking forward to this model. I shook the model. I tried to make sure it was okay, and then as soon as I open it this wing literally snaps off like not really snaps off but like it plopped off and i was like i i, I was just shocked um yeah so another problem here is that i don't have super glue so i'm gonna have to at the moment so i'm gonna have to get that soon, soon. um but yeah this is just a little segment to just bring awareness that the a330s can also come like this because I don't know if I said, I just, I think I just said it, but I don't know. I'll just repeat it again. But I don't think the A330, I've never personally seen the A330 come broken um, in any reviews or anything. I'm sure probably somewhere um, it's come broken, but I've never seen any, so I didn't know how frequent this was. Um, so yeah, I don't want to make this little segment long because I don't want to really complain about it because like it's, it is what it is. Um, you guys got to look at the bright side, like, in case something like this happens, you got to look at the bright side. Yeah, it is very annoying, but what can you do? It happened to happen. Um, it's as long as, I mean, think about it, that as long as at least the wing is not bent, the engines are broke, snapped off, or, you know, something like that. Or probably paint scratch or anything. Anything, like, that's unfixable, at least it's not that. Because then, that's usually the only time I would, uh you know, send the model back. Um, even if it's like, the paint job is not, it's like here, you can see the paint job is a little bit scratched, but that, when you cut put the wing on, it doesn't, you can't really notice it too well. Um, but if like the paint job is scratched off and it's all the way down there or something, or if it's really noticeable even after you fix it, then that's when you would return, I would return it. But for this, not really. Um, it's just like just put some glue in there and snap it in but just uh, it's just annoying here and there because sometimes I might not have super glue not to like you know rush or something go to this not rush but like just go to the store and get some um, so yeah uh, that should be this for the segment guys let's get back to the positivity all right so that's the segment guys and that's how it came but uh, yeah, so, uh, I was just a little shocked and surprised, I, and I also did record a video about how to fix your model and stuff, but the problem with that is, I scrapped it because I messed up on the video, the model, when I fi was fixing it, I'll show you that, it's not that bad, um, but, yeah, um, it's just a little bit bad, so, I'll just go over to the box right now, so here's, uh, of course the front because the box is actually believe it or not a little different um so here's the back um, i'm gonna bring in the 2018 release um so you can see the box this box um you can see how different it is crazy but this is a lot more purple purplish color this is a little bluish tint to it even on this little bar here um some of the flowers and the you know, every, this box just has a little, uh, not the white part, but like the Hawaiian logo and the titles. It has a little bluish tint to it. Um, this is more purplish, the old one. But yeah, that's the biggest difference there. 
and also uh, that side is covered but uh, the top is the old old box bottom is the new box uh, yep so there's massive differences right there and also I do want to show you guys the inside here the flap you can pause and read all that if you'd like and also I do want to show you guys how different the inside is um, not that different but the definitely the font has increased and of course the bluish shade this is the new one uh, this is the old so yeah um, so yeah let's get on with the unboxing and there's the model as well and also for the 2018 the packaging the model was in this kind of covering this is now more a lot clearer so let's get on with it so I do want to did I ex summarize the video already I'll just kind of I'll just go along the way I don't want to really say too much but uh, so how am I I'm not gonna really put this on the box like I usually do either um, however I'm going to just show you how the model is itself so first off there's massive there's a lot of differences between the 2018 release and the old release or the new release so right off the bat uh, the coloring is a lot different so I I'm gonna actually go get into the other details of the flowers the flowers look the same coloring silver uh, of course the lighting is right here so it's kind of inter interfering with that but the registration is different uh, this is a little bigger this is smaller so is the American flag um, and then also it looks like that this is a little bit leveled higher than this which is good um, this is actually more this is correct or not I wouldn't say it's correct but it's a lot more to the real thing than this one is um, and of course the flower purple it's more extended higher up here it's extended in here it's just lasted here um, so Gemini Jets I'm gonna applaud them despite the improper the the like you know the detachment detachment at this point why why does it matter anymore um, I mean it's very annoying but like at this point just like I have to I'm just gonna accept it but uh, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen so uh, yeah, so the, the Gemini just did a lot better job on this one than this. So there's definitely an improvement. The coloring, if you can see in the flowers, it's a lot vibrant than this one. Here it's more blended. Here you can see it stands out a little bit more. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it just, it just looks a lot better. Uh, I do think that the... Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh no, I'm actually gonna say that for the NG because I'm gonna. Oh, also, I did notice something huge on the titles, so I'm not sure. This is also with the NG. NG, I think Gemini Jets. I think they. I'm not sure if this is the real thing or it's like this, but I remember the Hawaiian. This is actually a lot correct than this one. You can see the titles are very light and also not only that it's very short uh, this is a lot taller it looks maybe bolder i could be wrong i could be wrong about this but i mean i don't know i think maybe either this is the new refreshed look of this livery or maybe like they you know updated it kind of or, or something like that um I'm not sure what this is, but definitely there's a difference there. Um, if you guys, and if anybody knows any detail about this, then I would love to know. Uh, I should have probably looked it up earlier, but uh, the flag is also, this, the flag on the new one, by the way, this is the 2018, 2020 release, this is the old 2018 release. But here, the flag is bigger, and here it's tiny, uh, which is, this is incorrect, this is correct. Um, yeah, aircraft name are aircraft names are different. Uh, this is Makali'i, I think that's a bird, and I think this is something I don't know. I can't really read that, but that could be a bird as well. But yeah, 
I'm not sure about Hawaiians like aircraft names. I think they usually name them either by after volcanoes or birds, bird species in Hawaii, uh, which is really cool that they do that. So I'm gonna move the gem, the old Gemini away. Uh, you probably saw my hand there, but, the, but now this is the NG. Um, yeah, you see. Um, so the Gemini old, I want to quickly go back, bring back the 2018 Gemini Jets release, but you can see the Hawaiian, so I, I'm definitely the NG1 wins right, right here, um, just because of the coloring and everything, it's a lot different, uh, it's a lot more correct than the, to the real one, than the, the old one, but here we have, you can see the Hawaiian titles, it's a lot purple, dark purple, this is a little bit light purple. Uh, which is, I don't know, I'm, it just looks a little weird to me. It, I could be wrong, it's probably a modification they did to this livery. But I don't know, I just think it's weird. If I if they did that, then I don't know why they did that. But, um, like, again, again um, if anybody has any information, just feel free to put it in the comments. Um, this video is going to go a little bit over time, I do apologize. But, um, and also, I'm going to flip them back again. Um... So now the NG is on the right, the Gemini Jets is on the left. So, uh, NG of course wins right here. It's the, the colors are vibrant, but according to you guys, when you said, when you guys did the review, when I showed the review of the NG, or no, I think it was a comparison video. You guys said the Gemini Jets one is correct because of the silver flowers. I said, this one is correct. I'll go by your guys' judgment because I'm not the best at identifying the colors of these aircraft. Um, I can't really tell because of sunlight or something. But you guys said, like, you guys were pretty firm that the silver... Well, the silver is a lot correct on the Gemini Jets version. So I'll give you... I'll give the Gemini Jets one that. Uh, this is gray colored. Uh, more of gray. Um, but definitely the colors on here it's a lot correct than this one this one might look this just looks very vibrant and nice actually i think some people were saying this is correct than this but i'm not sure uh like i said uh but i just like the look of this better so ng wins on that that part but yeah that's the difference i wanted to say and now that's because now that's it for the really the review I'm gonna go over Hawaiian Airlines itself, why I like it, the specifications of the airline, and and such. So, or like the inf information about the airline company itself. So, why I like Hawaiian Airlines is just simple reason. It's because of the livery. It's just so amazing. I've never flown with Hawaiian Airlines, but I would love to. Um, it would, that would be awesome to fly with Hawaiian Airlines because their livery is just absolutely fantastic. Um, here, that's better. Uh, so, yeah, so, about Hawaiian Airlines is, I heard that they're not the best airline, they're a three-star they're three airline by Skytrax, which is kind of similar to American and United and Delta, they're both, all three of them are three-star airlines rated by Skytrax, um, and so is Hawaiian, um, but also, they're getting, the Hawaiian Airlines is getting 787 Dreamliners in 20 late 2020, maybe quarter three of 2020 around September, and that sorry did I say 2020? I meant to say 2022, um, and that's just amazing um, to see it like this livery and the Dreamliner. That'd be that would be awesome. Uh, could you imagine? Um, and also, did I say Hawaiian Airlines this livery is my? F I don't know if I said that or I probably changed it. But it's definitely one of my fa my fa top favorite livery because maybe number one, um, it might change, I'm not sure. But because it's just such a unique livery, so different out there. I mean, which airline has like flowers like this and then silver and it's just, just the design of it is just amazing. It's definitely my favorite livery. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so that's why I have a big collection. I probably might do Hawaii Hawaiian airport, I'm not sure. Uh, because I'm not, I'm not really planning to not get any more. I'm planning to probably get some more Hawaiian planes. Uh, just because I just like the look of the aircraft. Mostly the new livery. Um, because it just looks so good. Um, so I'm not sure, but 
I don't know about that yet, but uh, that's probably gonna that's probably gonna happen. But uh, yeah, that should be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you're new. Put in the comments below what you thought of this model um, or any of the models, or if you have any, com if you want to share anything about the three I just compared, um, what you think. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, but yeah, so that should be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.